boom ba doom boom 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 yeah right there in the bar make sure to check out our good friends at turnbuckle tapes also uh check uh turnbuckle tapes on spotify let me get that out of the way if you like all your wrestling news um also check out our sponsors panda supplements um you can use promo code outlander85 or pumped with an ed and uh, you get 15 percent off so check them out you can also check out our good friends at rogue energy the originals rogue energy at rogueenergy.com use promo code outlander i think you receive 10 percent off it's one of them let's get it on we're eight and two have a good freaking record right now major p plays the uh defense i play the offense there i am i'm just kissing everybody now onto the field and bringing them out is the pocket passer from Purdue rookie Aiden O'Connell and you and I both know that any win is a good win and that's what they did last week but there's also plenty for him to work on in his game wasn't there yeah two touchdowns and interception yeah you know he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio but first and foremost they did win the game he pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards second down a check on Jacobs from a week ago. Two trips to the end zone and well past 100 yards. And going back and watching the film, we saw every kind of run from him, didn't we? We saw some power. We saw finesse. We saw speed. And what I love the most, he finished each and every run. Now a dump off here complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So the completion there, Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allowed a completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game. And all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him. Because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. Second down and eight. They will run the draw with Jacobs. They're still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. But you look at this defense. Yeah, they're a tough unit to throw against. Currently fourth toughest in the NFL. And I've struggled a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top ten in the league against the pass. But the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the <laughs> Get it, Jake. Get, get out the window. Yeah, get, get out of the way. way. <laughs> get out of the way. We play with a guy on Call of Duty, and we always have to yell at him. Remember that video? <laughs> Jake, don't go in the window. There's a Jay, guy in the Jay, don't go in the window. And he still gets sniped like crazy. I'm like, dude, how are you? Oh, oh. Gotta go back to the bar. <laughs> Jay, Jay. Right. Outlander, what, what's my what's my stats look like? Let's see. Hold on. I don't even know. Let's see. Seven to eight. No, not ten digits or not double digits yet. Good. Ten games in. All right. Let's get this drive. Let's get this drive going. We're gonna we're gonna give it to Major P right up the middle. Oh shit, Crosby! I forgot about Crosby over there. Okay. Oh. oh. See, Crosby pushed him. 55. Okay, that's okay. Kind of did. So quick, There it is. There it is. Nice. Oof. Well, I was going to go and uh, go to a pass play, but I wanted to go. Here's what's called here. In there. Come on, what is it? It's a gun? Yeah. I got it on, I got it on the first one. Alright, here we go. What do you want me to do? 
this line. No, straight up, you got this guy. Told ya. Come on. Who is that over there on the Raiders? It's nobody who's not from the Baja. No, we're gonna go. Give you a lead block. Be, be me as soon as I click it, ready? There it is. Oh, came across. Solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. Seven yards there and a first down. Second quarter from Vegas, the home standing Raiders with a football here. As they've got it with a first and ten. Back to throw, O'Connell. Short throw, that's held in by Mayer. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now, He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Fakes the handoff. Now Kyle to throw. That's to the veteran tight end, Austin Hooper. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of work. The big foul! Big strides, look at him go, and he will score. I got blocked out. <sighs> off that. Dude, that one was me. His third touchdown now. That one was me. And the Raiders post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this. Yeah, Raiders take the lead. 419 left on the clock. Oof. That was my bad. Turn. 
They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. It's caught here by Adams. Second and nine. From the gun, they'll try to run it. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. But he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Rushing touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Tigers are an extra point away from evening this one up. Extra point by Butker is on target. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and ten. Off the play fake. O'Connell. Open man is Jerome Jennings. And he will be taken down with a big play there. As it comes just as we reach the two-minute warning. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes. And he's miles away and smiling. He's got room to roam. Yeah, dude. It's the only guy they have. Maybe it's the only guy we need to cover. Okay. It's okay. I like being in the two minute warning. Ooh. That was that. Ooh, yeah, they, they scored in 20 seconds. Because they're Raiders. Oh, I don't know why he's here, but. I. My thumb must have went down again. He might quit score. Two minutes. All right, two minutes row. Made a P. Let's see the screen on that side. Uh, I say he works better away from work. Town. Oh, shit, I can't even throw it. What the fuck? I'm, I can't even pick the word. I can't even pick a play. I thought I didn't pick a play. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just. Uh, as I say, you want to be Higby, and you can be my out. In case nothing happens with him, I'm gonna try to split him. That's the first time in. What? Legal block on the ball? Oh. 36? 36, okay. Okay, it's still good. Well, on the other side, like, just running straight up. I don't know. Can't think about that one. Perfect. Yep. You. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Don't spike it, call a timeout. Okay, okay, we're gonna hit this pass up. 
Let's see if we can uh, see if we can split that. You might be able to. Okay, what they're doing is they're gonna go single high. So then when they go in the middle, I'm just gonna do my route. Okay. I'm gonna have that outlet. So. Yeah, they're playing that coverage. Good thing that I got hit. Um, same angle. He be his guy. He be him. I was yeah, watching. Waited a minute. I was like, I'm already so open. Wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yeah. So I might get yeah. here. Oh. Hurry up. Time is going. Okay, it's okay. Let's it's play smart as we only end up. It's there. It's there. Who? Yep. Vontae, right? Okay. Damn, boy. Devontae Adams. As the first half is winding down. And the Tigers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Butker on for the PAT. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they'll play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. O'Connell working from the gun. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. A final shot before break. O'Connell. Looking deep for Jennings. And that is incomplete. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Here's Tony to return it as he brings it out of the end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he steps out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35. A big play there. 51 yards. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Holding offense. That one's on the former Patriot, Joe Tooney. Still first down. Got it. Ready? Hurt, hurt. Hands it off out of the gun. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. to third down. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then you find a little chink in the armor and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no game. On third down, they're going to run for it here. 
And this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. Mm -hmm. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. Now a handoff running through the middle. And here he'll get it down to the seventh. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive we goes go, on, we go. we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Side handoff. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's bound the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try to run for it. This is huge trick. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Kyle Juszczyk, his first touchdown on the year. And the Tigers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead is now 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Abdul is going to stay put, and the drive will start at the 25. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Well, they've got the lead, but it's certainly not a big one. And how do you keep control of that lead? Certainly not by that last play there. They gave up a big sack on the first play of this drive. Now it's double the distance to the first down marker. Oh, he faked it with a jump. Now he's got some room. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 51 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I don't know about you, partner, but I just came out of my chair. Big time run right there, and all of a sudden I realized... Didn't reach the chains, did he? <laughs> How do you go that far? Create that type of an explosive play that'll be a check and a plus on every grade sheet and still not get a first down. Yeah, they put themselves in a bad spot, but a big game that helps. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. But forget the run. Third and one, they shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And the points result, we'll call this play significant. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. They'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. To throw here, O'Connell. A short throw, and that's right in by Mayer. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. Jacobs going to try the middle. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Off the play fake. Here's O'Connell. Blitz coming and down he goes. That was 
here's Nick Bolton rushing in and burying him behind the line. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from Stalin. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. say Charles a little surprising to have a kick this short blocked usually that happens on the longer ones but great job by the special teams to kind of sift through there and get a hand on it yeah you've seen a lot of football over time partner and you're right about it typically the longer field goals start lower because they have so much more ground to cover to get to the post and that's when you get a hand on it these short ones you're able to pop it up in the air <laughs> good huge that was, that was definitely a huge block American people Good freaking play. Good freaking play. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, four quarters, hours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's our visitors with a football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Oh this, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Go. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And he is going to have a first down here, and that should be the one that seals a victory. situations with their players because him getting tackled there is not the worst thing in the world you're going to run more plays right clock's going to go but his thought process is getting into the end zone it's counterintuitive for him to actually go down in this spot yeah but you, like you said you don't want to get in the end zone too early here no not at all because you may leave an opening that could come back and get you on second down they'll run it here and he will take this one in for a touchdown Great play there with touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the Tigers add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. 
Extra point by Butker is on target. And a lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. So the Raiders now down by two touchdowns. A minute 12 to go. Field goals useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. Here's O'Connell. Connecting with Winfro. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. O'Connell. And incomplete on the deep ball. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up okay, for any ready. potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, it's pretty difficult to sum it up offense in a two minute drill. When your guys have struggled to put points on the board all afternoon, there's an incompletion right there. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. They'll go for it. O'Connell. And he's brought down. Can't do anything and you guys know we just don't um settle you know yeah. <sighs> i put that shit on a fucking yarn what oh <laughs> set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down and now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach and it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen they couldn't pick up the first down. oh and now they're gonna fake it and the Raiders have got him I know they're not asking me but I'll give you my opinion anyway I think it's time to erase that play from the call sheet I guess they figure with the big lead they can experiment a little bit but all in all, just go ahead and put that play on ice. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. What a good game. I thought 87 got it again. Major P wins that one. MVP over here. Major P with the, uh, the punch, the, or the field goal block, sorry, field goal block, nice.